good afternoon to all of you um, first of all i have to thank and congratulate uh, vengadesh kavita and the entire pandi team for uh, wonderful uh, alumni meet and uh, nice uh, scientific program when he was given this topic uh, i called vengadesh uh, and uh, asked him in what way it is going to help the uh, alumni this my journey and also i asked uh, what they are going to learn from my talk but uh, immediately he replied illa sir ninge pesanu kandipa vera yaarume pesala my journey pathi so you have to talk about your journey in glaucoma then i changed my topic into our journey the journey of uh, the entire glaucoma services of arvind ek system for the more than past three decades as mentioned by uh, kavita um of course these people you know they have laid down the wonderful road for us to make a smooth journey throughout our career starting from our uh, scratch to what we are uh, today and of course i am from a small village uh, agricultural family and uh, studied in a small school and uh, i did my mbbs from trivial medical college uh, where uh, dr ms also belong to same college and after that i uh, was uh, working as a general practitioner in uh, sangaran kovil and previously i was working in kerala also for about 6 uh, months in a hospital then uh, of course something happened in my life uh, yes <laughs> uh i had to thank my parents for naming me as a ramakrishnan because after uh, <laughs> after uh, knowing me my father in law my name you no know, he was very particular that i should become his uh, son in law and without asking the permission from indian family so uh, that's how i i was so lucky to be the part of uh, this family and uh, later on i joined uh, devo with uh, ravi and we had a wonderful experience and the ms also we did together in the uh, government uh, rajaji hospital where we do uh, course in the morning and after we will come to aravind for uh, work and of course immediately after my ms i, I was uh, posted in cheni hospital uh, most of you don't know that uh, pn is uh, not only a retina he must have been think that he is a retina surgeon but initially he was doing everything and every week every thursday he used to come to cheni uh, for doing uh, difficult cases ecc with iol the rest of the case i used to in the rest of the days and we will be eagerly waiting on the thursday wednesday evening more than me my son vivek would be waiting for him because he is a time when he used to take uh, all of us to our dinner to the restaurant but we had a wonderful time in cheni and uh, of course um, there's a place where martin spencer was uh, with me for one week so he changed my entire surgical uh, uh, skill in uh, uh, extra capsule cataract surgery so he became one of the best surgeon then uh, from cheni i was uh, transferred to uh, madurai uh, why i put this bus no i came by this bus only sorry malay uh, because there's a bus which has got tape recorder at that time so you can listen to music and you can uh, uh, there's a story and of course at that time you know when i come to madurai glaucoma clinic there is no glaucoma clinic uh, as such in madurai usually they will be seen by dr ravindran most of you know senior people may know this abudi ravindran from chennai he was our alumni and later it was seen by morali jaran who was our junior in ms but he was seeing glaucoma cases but there is no separate clinic and uh, surgery was done by pm mm, this uh, glaucoma surgery chief used to do and madam also used to do but most of the surgeries used to the vip patients block of patients still i remember the first tuberculectomy i seen uh, by doing the dr pn that uh, one of the vip of our area that uh, 
திண்டுக்கல் ஜிடிஎன் மில் ஓனர் he is the uh, wonderful surgery pn was doing and then of course it was started later in 88 in a small room and then with uh, these are the instruments which we had at that time the whole era when slit lamp with ablation and a single mirror and a germ screen and goldman perimeter this was uh, started and functioning only in the afternoon and later in 1989 we had a full time uh, glaucoma clinic started then this of course uh, with the uh, i had an, uh, uh, the management sent me for a glaucoma training to us with dr spaith and ulenski and his faith uh, hutchinson they definitely uh, helped me a lot especially dr spaith he took a personal interest to training me in the surgery uh, really i have to thank him and I really till i am having in contact with dr spaith used to uh, call me or uh, uh, mail me uh, quite often and also john you uh, hikim badam is a wonderful lady and deepak edward most of you he was doing a uh, pathology he was in pathology at that time and he is also a very good supportive of uh, our uh, trainee and of course i have to thank uh, david green and uh, uh, susan for uh, uh, coordinating and all these uh, uh, helping in, uh, and also of course they were the local guardian for us and also we cannot forget uh, uh, goldberg wonderful host and a wonderful uh, uh, person and mary winicky is a librarian uh, most of you know because she only made a xerox of all the journals and the chapters this very when we come back from us you know all our uh, suitcases would be full of paper only it's very very <laughs> difficult to carry such uh, 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 good old memories And of course, uh, I will say hospital, uh, this uh, Nina was very much helpful for uh, all uh, people who are going to uh, Wills. Uh, this uh, Sibalingam is uh, uh, none other than the father of uh, Arunu. He is a glaucoma specialist. He was also very much uh, uh, helpful in the training uh, in glaucoma. So I came and then I took in charge of a glaucoma clinic in 1989. And 90, May 1st uh, is... Uh, i was seeing cases in the glaucoma clinic and uh, chief uh, by 10 o'clock chief brought one young uh, <laughs> uh, handsome uh, person to me ramakrishnan ninga thaniya paathukittu irukinga customer irukku so ivar unga kooda irpaar that's what he told he didn't mention anything to kishora sir so <laughs> that's why kishora has joined with me it's a really is a turning point for uh, me as well as for the glaucoma clinic because uh, at that time no it was a load was picking up and uh, uh, he was very much helpful and uh, i was more, all the time will be in the theater and he will be all the time in the opd so that's how we were working in a, a glaucoma clinic and of course this uh, thing and of course uh, alan robin uh, is a t- definitely is a true uh, turning point in our glaucoma a uh, service of haravindi care system he is a true disciple and a friend of our chief uh, he met the chief in some of the meetings and he came in to haravind in 1990 and he played a major role in training me and kishoras and upgrading the glaucoma clinic and the first humphrey was brought by him and the laser everything and also he introduced so many projects so many new surgical techniques and etc to Uh, as and uh, uh, we were the first to use mitomycin in India in trabeculectomy way back in 1990 itself, and of course we were the one of the centre to uh, uh, to collect normative data for the Humphrey in 1990. In about two months' time, we were able to uh, do about 600 uh, normative data and send it to Allergan at that uh, because at that time Humphrey was with Allergan, and then we started long-term glaucoma fellowship. and uh, we uh, we in a systematic way we used to mitomycin initially we were uh, doing in uh, refractory glaucoma then we did a pilot study and then we did a major uh, long term dose response study a pilot study we had done about 40 cases of uh, various uh, d- difficult uh, glaucoma and we had a very good result then we did a pilot study which was uh, published in ophthalmology 93 itself and then we uh, had a poster in arvo in sarasota 
general the long term dose so this is one of the best well planned the study in mitomycin because at that time nobody knows about what concentration to be used and what's the duration how much of exposure we have to give it to mitomycin nobody knows so this is a uh the uh, one of the uh, landmark study in mitomycin where we have compared four concentration with the different duration of exposure of mitomycin and uh, you won't believe that we have done 300 trabeclectomy in one year single surgeon with a single releasable suture and uh, i have never seen the patient preoperatively and postoperatively i have seen the patient only in the table that was how it was, the surgery was uh, a double mass study this uh, done in with uh, exercise played a very pivotal role in uh, the successful conduct of this uh, study and of course the next landmark study is arvin kambergen's a survey uh, it's a population based epidemiology study this also uh, alan was very particular that we should do because there is no uh, uh, data available from india so you should do uh, something similar to john's uh, baltimore i survey so we uh, had a uh, multiple meetings with so many people from baltimore like the jim seals and uh, joan and uh, alan etc and here uh, with the help of our uh, ed mr tulasidas and uh, uh, we started this study of course we had to thank all these uh, people and the study was funded by uh, alan and of course queen uh, was very much helpful and uh, ravi was at that time in uh, tunnel valley when the study was started he did all the ground work in tunnel valley so uh, this was done in about uh, uh, field visit by we have visited many of the villages myself and alan personally we went to madurai and tunnel valley and visited many villages how the study is going on and there are totally 40 villages uh, 20 villages from each from madurai and tunnel valley and uh, it's a really it's a wonderful we brought all the normal people very good coverage all the tests were done in the hospital it really at that time it's a very uh, well well done and very planned well planned study of course we have published 13 papers in all the international field uh, journals <coughs> Uh, of course this uh, uh, why i am uh, prajana was when we as pg you know he was uh, uh, very much interested in glaucoma he is not here now uh, uh, but his first paper was with uh, lens induced glaucoma uh, similarly with uh, kim also uh, kim uh, i was doing lot of alt at that time pn gave a free hand to me at that time alt was in a big room the mission was uh, the mission was occupying a whole room So we're doing like ALT. So we did a uh, thesis, is uh, like I think, in the cases, yeah. We published a paper in general of uh, this one. Then, of course, in Madurai, uh, even at that time, we have conducted uh, uh, Glaucoma Society of India meeting in 1996, and Chief was the uh, he was delivering the inaugural address. And one thing now, in 1996 itself. the first thing we have introduced powerpoint in uh, uh, conferences powerpoint in conferences and most of the us uh, uh, faculty they are not aware of that the powerpoint will be available in india am i correct illa powerpoint is available for the first thing 96 illa powerpoint powerpoint uh, yeah 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 yes yeah and uh, these other people with uh, mike petella and alan madam and uh, really is a wonderful meeting then i came to i transferred to tunnel valley in 1996 uh, december and uh, of course i have to thank uh, our pn sir for uh, uh, all the guidance and help in establishing the arvind sai center of excellence in glaucoma in tunnel valley yeah so really so then also there also we had uh, so many other glaucoma meetings and other things this is one of the uh, my uh, mentor and uh, teacher with the dal spit uh, we did a multicentric study all over the world so i was also part of that study and uh, then uh, of course i became the president of uh, glaucoma society of india in 2002 we organized another glaucoma meeting in madurai in tunnel valley in 2003 when i was the president 
So we brought all the leading uh, uh, glaucoma specialists from uh, Harry Quigley, Alan Robin, Don Budens, and Paul Kaufman, Gulday Singh, so many people, and Mark Lieberman, all the people, they came to all the way to Thunelili to uh, attend that uh, meeting. And of course, then we, uh, I as a person uh, organized the three uh, Tiruvaya conferences, that is in 1995, when he was in Madurai in 2004 and 2011 in Sydney Valley. And luckily in all the three conferences, Abdul Kalam was the chief guest. And uh, uh, I have to thank and uh, all the credit goes to Dr. P. N. Sir. And of course, in Sydney Valley in 2011, when uh, Abdul Kalam was there, I invited uh, Dr. Allen and uh, uh, Dr. Paul Palmberg for this uh, meeting. So well, Abdul Kalam uh, uh, motivated them to do something for the Indian uh, glaucoma p- patients. So there comes the uh, the uh, seed for our RD uh, implant. That we were telling that we are planning to do uh, something similar to Barrel's implant. So Abdul Kalam was very happy, and now you know how RD has become so popular all over the world. And of course, um, I have, at Sunil Valley, I published a textbook. Still one of the well uh, read textbooks by postgraduates, and also for public, I did, uh, published a book on Kanin Alama. And this, of course, the initial team, I should not because I have to thank, and uh, everybody was so uh, cooperative, so uh, 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 in a single, uh, uh, almost like a family, you know, like Vengadeh, Satyan, and uh, uh, Mohideen, Krishnadas, of course. Uh, at that time, you no. Know, initially, they used to send all the difficult cases to Thunil Valley for surgery from Pondicherry, from Goyambutur, and it's in uh, Madurai. Then I told them, don't send uh, like this Krishna. So particularly, I told Krishna, don't send to Thunil Valley. And uh, that's because uh, now they are more than what uh, they are, uh, my uh, this thing. And of course, I have to thank the Madurai team, wonderful team of glaucoma uh, people. Uh, they are pioneering in all these uh, fields. RD, of course, George is taking care of wonderful work. And congenital glaucoma with Dr. Manju and Nana Talmas and other things by Sharmila. And the Pondi team, no need to say, multiple projects. Yes, it is popularized by Vengadesh, Angle Closure, IFA Study, uh, Kavita, Family Glaucoma, Gigat. Really is fantastic. And Tunil will, of course, Magadin, Genetic, and uh, uh, Devendra he is very much interested in mix, especially Tanito. He has done the highest number of cases in uh, the world. Of course, I can say it. he has done about 140 cases of uh, Tanito gonioctomy, and we are going to publish with the help of uh, Grover uh, soon. And Gat also is very much, and also he is a very good innovative surgeon. He's doing a lot of things in the and also Dr. Madhavi is very much interested in doing a lot of work in imaging. And the Coimbatore team, of course, SLT and other things they are. The Chennai is a young and energetic team. They are doing wonderful work. And also Tirupati team, headed by Ashok, also doing wonderful work. Soon we'll be doing a multicentric study. These are the various multicentric study we have done and we are doing. Soon. And also we are planning to do something more than that. And he, uh, we should not forget David Friedman, who facilitated the glaucoma retreat uh, two or three times. So, so we learned a lot from that retreat. And uh, of course, uh, in Thunel Valley, we are very much interested in teaching and training. And we have uh, achieved a 100% result in DNB candidate for so many years. And five times we have uh, received uh, Dr. GV gold medal, All India for All India Topper. And we have trained to so many uh, fellows in and around uh, all over the world. We start from 82 national fellows and uh, international uh, three long term fellows. And the short term fellows, we get trained about uh, nearly 571 fellows from all over the world, from India, 495, rest of the thing, Indonesia, Bangladesh, Nigeria, and all uh, places we have trained. And uh, of course, we are now we are having a full fledged glaucoma, sorry, all specialty clinic in uh, Thunder Valley. I have to thank all my team, the young energetic team, uh, very, very doing wonderful work. And uh, of course, now currently I am the 
president of tnoa tnoa is is uh, i don't know how he became president because of ravi only i became this president <laughs> anonymously elected uh, uh, my uh, tenure is still august and uh, of course i am doing little bit of work uh, academically in the last six years and last month we had a midterm meeting in kutralam Uh, with this, uh, the journey continues. There is no uh, end for our journey, and of course, with the team, uh, young energetic team of Glaucoma people, all across all around the ecosystem, till we can do wonderful work. Uh, because uh, uh, point would be uh, chief. Much has been done. Much remains to be done. Thank you very much.